What's up guys, let's chat six here again. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Pistol Whip, a rail shooting rhythm game where you shoot at enemies to the beat of the music. Many VR rhythm games happen to be very similar to the style of Beat Saber, so it's nice to see a unique approach. There's also many modifiers to choose from, so you can customize it to your liking. In addition, there's tons of new updates and songs all the time. If you love VR as much as I do, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are in the main screen of Pistol Whip. Of course, we're gonna start out with the training level, so let's go. Yep, already aimed down. Nice and short, so now we're in the song selection screen. Over here you can see your modifiers, player options, and game options, so that's all up to you. Here in this gun case is actually where you can customize your guns, and it's really cool. Let's do that real quick, open this up. You can pick the pattern, color, and material, and even what sound effect the gun makes. So let's go with this one, kinda like that one. That one's pretty good. So now you can click save and exit and your gun is saved. And you even have these different kinds to pick from. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one. The most popular Pistol Whip song. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. Lots of ducking involved. I keep thinking I can bat these away. You can't. Ah! Very cool scene animation as well. Not bad. I'll take it. Alright, let's do one more and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Let's go with this one.
Close one. That was Pistol Whip. I'll see you in my final thoughts. So that was Pistol Whip. I've been a fan of rhythm games for many years, so games like that are a real treat. The music is great, and shooting enemies to the beat is so satisfying. I also find the reloading mechanic to be really convenient because all you have to do is flip your gun and you're back to shooting enemies. Something that new players of Pistol Whip should keep in mind is that the learning curve can be really difficult. The tutorial makes it look easy, but then once you go into an actual song on easy mode, that's when you start to see how difficult it really is. With a little repetition, and practice though, I think pretty much anybody could pick up on it. When you look at all the features and replayability you get out of this game, I find the $24.99 price point to be right on the nose with where it should be. I would like to thank my patrons, Avelino Sanchez and Lipnox VR, for supporting the channel. If you'd like to see what additional benefits you can unlock from joining my Patreon, check that out in the description below. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon down below so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thanks. Bye.